Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be playing some more free-to-play to Masters. So, I played a little bit on stream earlier today on Twitch. Played for about an hour and a half. Actually managed to go up quite a fair bit. And then we, I think we lost like two or three games in a row. So, it tilted a little bit. But not much in terms of progression. In terms of my overall uh, brawlers. Not really had much time to actually grind trophies as of yet. Uh, but should be making our way over to Diamond Freeze. So, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright guys, so starting off the first game with a loss then so yeah this uh, rico is absolutely down bad don't want to say too much i don't really like roasting players too much in case they are my fans but yeah the rico as you can see going towards the middle it did it at the start of the last game just uh, you, you got to be going lane as a rico and especially popping your gadget it's getting like no value out of the gadget it's crow on well unfortunately they picked crow when i went max so kind of hard to face off against and our last pick was this stew so we should really theoretically have a better comp because they have a Colt in their composition. We've got Rico and uh, it's two, like two best lane brawlers, but for some reason we're really struggling to make it work. We should be able to kill uh, all of these here. Rico should have no issues scoring there, so that is much better. We just need Rico to go down the lane and it should be really easy, but we didn't get that last game. So we're going to be getting the early goal this time around, which is fairly decent. Uh, Spike going to be pushing up. We need a bit of a pinch here. Rico, for whatever reason, going to be in spawn. Okay. So like we're close to our speed here. We might be able to make something happen. Kind of scared of this Krovo. And as slow as we're just going to speed ourselves up here, to be honest. Let's see if we can maybe uh, score this. Let's just wait for our teammates. Rico should be able to super this. This should be a goal. Just going to be patient with it. And that's going to be a goal right there. So actually, much better this time around. As soon as I switch the camera on, we actually make things work. Which normally is the opposite way around. As soon as I switch the camera on, things uh, go really bad. So... Uh, doing decent so far again hopefully rico just goes down the lane there's no reason for him uh, to go middle he's gonna go middle again i mean he can just shoot the middle from the lane so i don't know why he feels the need to go down uh the mid again i can't there's no way a max can take down any single brawler down the lane so there's no no point in me even trying to go down the lane here so Crow's going to get me uh, pretty weak here. I'm just going to try and stay alive for as long as possible. Colt goes for the mid wall break. I think I do. Should hopefully be able to defend this one. Okay, no, maybe not. Maybe not too much for him to ask for. Again, the only reason we're conceding is because Rico's running mid. There's no other reason why we've conceded there other than the fact that he ran uh, mid. So Colt going to get a clip onto our stew there. Uh, looks like Rico's able to pop off against that Colt. I'm going to try and score. I mean, the spike is weak here. Let's see if we can get him down. Nice. Okay. So, actually managing to score there. Rico kind of did pop off. And that's exactly what we should be doing once he's down the lane. So, once he's down the lane, he's actually doing a decent job. It's just the beginning uh, that we need to get sorted down. So, we're going to get slowed here. Crow going to jump on us as well. This is going to look really, really bad for us. Hopefully, Stu's at least able to stay alive for a little longer. Okay, this is looking really bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to save this one at all. I haven't got the ammo to take him down. And that's a rip. So we're going to be losing the first game. Straight painful. If Again, we just gave the we gave them three goals at the beginning of every single game. So, yeah, that's why we're going to be losing that one. Going down to Division 1, maybe. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys. So jumping into the second game then. So uh, going off the back of the last game. Uh, somehow we've got an okay composition. Theirs is really good as well, but with the Tara, Tara sneaked in a few times. We did fairly decent against them. We kind of just left the Primo. Primo just went in on the safe, kind of left him and did a lot of damage to the safe. So Primo going to go in this time. Hopefully Tara is able to pinch him with us. A much worse start this time around, especially with Nita sneaking in. We're going to look to try and break up this grass as quickly as possible. Oh, we get a nice clip onto that Nita as well. To be honest, we can just leave that Nita. Nita without bear is pretty useless. So, yeah, let's just try and leave her as quickly as possible here. Same with Clip. Clip without super isn't going to be uh, troublesome whatsoever. Primo has got his jump here. Let's try and help the Tara out. Unfortunately, the Primo just gets jump as our Tara pops the gadget. Oh, is there anyone on our safe at all? I think there might be a Clip. No, I think everyone is dead. Looks like BB did clean them up in the end need to throw bear on defense there so we've got a tower pull onto the primo and the need to bear now honestly should be gg we're doing a lot of damage bb can sequel do a lot of damage in combination with other brawlers so we're able to get some quick elo back right there in the next heist game let's see how much we get uh there she got two diamond free so yeah we actually earn a lot let's jump into the next game all right guys so heading into the next game then so we literally just lost right at that second kind of hard not to rage there but uh, it was really, really close in the end. Unfortunately, our Bali kind of threw that last game. But I'm using Piper level 6 was like the last pick 
uh, to choose him, mainly because they had last, well actually no, I was the second to last pick, I didn't really want them to get Piper, so I kind of just had to pick it, level 6, not too bad, I did, uh, I literally, I don't think I died like once, maybe, and got like 3 or 4 kills, so uh, overall I got a really good positive trade, uh, so we're not able to get the good start that we wanted here, gotta be kind of careful, once they get like one wall break, it can be decent, uh, all gotta be grouping up over here, Okay, Ball is just going to run into him and die again, even though when he das died last time, they were all over there. So let's try and run up and uh, at least we'll break here. Bali, please do not just run up again. Okay, they're just all grouping up. It's going to be really hard for us to do anything, especially when a Stu gets kind of counted by all of these guys clumping up. I think there's a gene in this bush right here. Okay, yep. Uh, this, is, this isn't this is looking good at all. Bali's died three times in a row here. Not the best start at all. Looks like Stu's going to break through there. Uh, Sprout's going to be pretty low. We get a nice snipe onto the diner here. Let's hopefully our Barley pushes up. Okay. Maybe not. I've really seven stars down there. I'm just going to heal up. Okay. Uh, all the way in the back line. The, thing, the good thing about Bounty though, you don't really uh, need to just push in straight away. You can literally wait until the last few moments and then get a team wipe. It happens often, especially on these type of maps. So, oh no, we get stunned. A really nice stun from a Dynamite. We do get to stay alive though because of the healing. From the barley, and yeah, it's pretty much GG's because this barley has just completely threw the entire game. You just hate to see it. You really do hate to see it. We need a full team up here. Oh, oh Stu is clearly uh, really mad at the barley, and oh, he has a good reason to. Barley's probably just going to run in again here. Yeah, he's just being super impatient. Don't really know what he's doing. You can't, you just can't win a game when someone's just throwing that bad. Like, it doesn't matter how well you play. If someone's going to be dying a million times in the game, you can't counteract that. So, Bali just completely throw in that game. No way we can actually win when there's someone as bad as him on our team. So, yeah, we're going to lose that game, unfortunately. And again, another bad uh, game somehow we lose a lot of elo on that one again let's jump into the next one all right guys jumping on to the next game then so again we are one nil down at the moment and it is just straight painful it is so painful playing this game sometimes especially when you look at our composition and look at this they have the three best brawlers on this map other than Stu, and we have a jesse max and an a bit it's just so damn bad i had to pick max last pick because what else am i going to go on this map this map is a really peculiar map and I just haven't got the brawlers to really go for it. So, uh, but do we get a good start though? I nearly clutched up in the last game. I literally got a double kill in their spawn. And there just was no teammates around me to help me collect the gems out of their spawn. So, uh, that's kind of how it went last game. The cross loads are really toxic, especially against their max as well. Uh, definitely a big hard counter. So, yeah, I think he's already used two slows there. I'm just going to try and use some pressure here. Mike are going to push us up. I mean, I'm just going to chip damage. I'm really close to super here. So, we've got to get some control anyway because of the minecart. We really do need to win this game though, else we will be tilting quite a fair bit so far. So, 8-bit going to get super low here. Another crow slow. We do manage to take him down. We've got a super right here. Let's speed up the 8-bit. going to try and push up against this bell. Now, it's a really good play uh, from us. Jesse goes in. Uh, with all the gems, does die. I don't even know what's happening at the moment. Hopefully, uh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, I don't even, just, I'm not even going to say any words for that. I'm just... What? No, no. Why? Just just why, basically? Why? Now I've got four gems, and I kind of want to be the aggro brawler here. Uh, but if we keep control, which is very unlikely, we might be able to turn this one back. So Gene using that gadget as well. Uh, Jesse's going to go down here and we kind of have to contest for those mid gems and it's looking uh, not the best for us. We're just going to speed up those Jesse. We need a team wipe somehow and to get the gems out somehow. It's not going to happen. Jesse getting slowed by everything and that's pretty much GG. So yeah, you guys just see the pain in my eyes. It's straight pain. We need some sad music here and yeah, we're going to be losing that game again. So it kind of just looks like at this level, honestly, that the randoms are just as bad as the ones before i just i don't need them to pop off i just need them not to throw and we're getting close to diamond one again here let's jump into the next game all right guys so heading into the next game i think this is probably gonna be our last game because clearly we're just really unlucky we got one pushed really easily there our stu just gave up and yep this is gonna be our last game i don't know what that stu is doing right there i don't know what he achieves from doing that he literally went up the map and died like immediately i popped off I didn't really pop off. I got like a uh, kill and got one of them really low. Uh, but yeah, when we have a stew that just does that. What what else does he want me to do? It even though I'm a level five primo, like I understand, but I'm still playing so much better than him already. So 
Uh, we've got a super here. Uh, he's going to miss his super. We should be able to get him down. Maybe those Poke heals are pretty toxic. We're able to get him down, though. Maybe the Poco as well. So look at that. I've just absolutely annihilated him. I've just destroyed him. But this uh, Stu just doesn't want to play at all here. So we're able to get a BB pretty low here. Somehow that buzz is able to get stunned on. So it's kind of wasted, though. Uh, we do get a decent defense as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, somehow he's shooting at me, even though he's absolutely horrendous. Uh, I have no idea, again, why he's shooting at me. You just literally saw what I just did, and this guy continues to shoot at me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even know. There's no way this, we're going to be able to get this robot, though. Uh, that's fair enough, though. Yeah, this, this is a GG. We're going to be losing this game. So I think we've won, like, one game in today's video. But it, it's Power League. We haven't got any max brawlers. We can go about three different brawlers. We're going to be tilting for a while. It's going to take us a little bit of a while. I think I'm going to have to start pushing some ladder, getting some boxes so I can at least level my brawlers up because we're kind of stuck at a moment. So uh, for sure, I'm going to spend some time uh, pushing ladder because <laughs> I think we're hit a bit of a stalemate here. But that's going to be another L for us. And the end of today's video, unfortunately. But you guys love it when I tilt. So it's some perfect content for some of you guys. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. We tilt all the way down. The perfect uh, way to end off. Yeah, that's... Oh, that is... That is... That hurts. That really does hurt to see. But yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.